In this video, I'll be showing you three different ways to make a div full screen on the browser. I have a simple project opened in Visual Studio Code Editor that has two files in it, index.html and style.css. In the index.html, I have a simple HTML5 basic skeleton code, as well as I have linked to the style.css file inside the head element. Pretty straightforward. Let's run the project on the browser and it's working as expected. The first option is using the height property set to 100% to an element. In the index.html, declare a simple div element with a class name box inside the body tags, like so. Now I want to see where this element is on the browser. Let's add a background color in the style.css file. So dot box, opening and closing curly braces, background color, red. And I can still see nothing on the browser. As you know, div is a block level element. So it takes the full width of the viewport by default, but there is still nothing on the browser. That's because there is no height to the box element yet. Let's add the height property with a value of 100% and still nothing. This is because when you set the height to 100% to an element, it will try to stretch vertically to its parent element height. Let's set its parent element height to 100% as well. So HTML, comma body, opening and closing curly braces, height 100%. Hop over to the browser, now you can see the box div element takes the full screen on the browser. Nice. But there is still some default margin as well as the scroll bar on the right. To get rid of both of them, all we have to do is to set the margin property to zero inside the HTML and body element CSS rule. Nice. The second option is simpler than the first one. Just replace the value of the box height from 100% to 100VH, vertical height, in the box element. When you set height to 100VH, the box element will stretch its height to the full height of the viewport regardless of its parent's height. In that case, we don't have to use a height property here in the HTML body CSS rule. It still works as expected. Let's move on to the third option, which is using position property set to absolute. First, clear everything except the background color inside the box CSS rule. When you set the position property to absolute to the box element, it will be positioned at the top left corner of the viewport by default. This behavior will work only if the parent element does not have position property set to relative. If the parent element has position property set to relative, the child element will be positioned at the top left corner of its parent element, not the viewport. All right, now all we have to do is set the width and height properties to 100%, which will make the box element stretch across the width and height of the viewport. Nice. The other way to do this is to set the four sides of the box element, which are top, right, bottom, left, to zero, instead of giving the width and height properties. Nice. One of the scenarios I can think of using the position absolute property is when you want to have a background div full screen and some other div in the foreground. If you know any other way that is not covered in this video, 
feel free to let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.